Hey guys, Joel here, Grey Wolf TV, back with our reactions to Fringe. We're on to episode 6 of season 2. Um, the last episode was kind of a standalone one again. However, we did get some story progression, as we usually do. Olivia had been instructed by Samwise to collect business cards off everyone that she met who was wearing red. And to solve an anagram. And at the end of the episode, she managed to work it out. I don't know how the hell he did this. And it said you're going to be fine which is helping Olivia get over the trauma of losing Charlie because that was one of the first things he said to her when she told us the story of how she first met him and how he made her feel at ease and that she could cope when she got into her first real dangerous situation with some drug dealers that they're trying to take down so that was a, a really nice touch there I just don't know how he did it anyway we're going to continue on. I don't know if this one's going to uh, progress the story much more. She now has her memories back. So we'll see where this goes. So sit back and relax and we'll watch episode six. Hello. Hey, honey. I'm glad I caught you. Where are you? Did you make it? Are you on your way home? There was some traffic, but I'll be home in about five minutes. An intruder! Whoa! Waiting for it. Okay, that's creepy. Was it ghost? Jesus Christ, it is like a ghost. What the hell? Randy, you totally got me. <laughs> I had no idea. He's not moving. Randy? <laughs> what? No. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> well, well, well the, the seat cushions have no scorch marks. Which rules out any form of fire or spontaneous combustion. So could he have been dosed by something? Yes, it's, it's possible. What do we know? Randy Danzig. His wife found him. She thought he was on a plane to Hong Kong. It's not the first time I've seen this phenomenon. Oh. By the time the killings ended, there were five deaths. He keeps Did the victims up? worked out or had recently visited Tyson General down in D.C. After the third death, I was contacted by an Eastern European man. It's a molecular model. Good a God. Complex organic compound. I recognize a couple of these elements, but the others I'm not so sure. What is it? Don't know. But he implied that solving it was the key to stopping the murders. This doesn't make any sense. Even reduced to this state, Mr. Danzig should have some trace amounts of radiation. May Agent Dunham, the formula different matter entirely she's a complex chemical puzzle for what i don't know he was distraught said he couldn't control it i got the overwhelming impression that however he was killing these people he wanted it to end something's going on you didn't hear the scream Bizarre. Did you see anything? I want this floor seen. A shadow. This is Bruce. We have a name. Thomas Kozlov. He worked at the hospital in D.C. and quit the week the murder stopped. Now I know you're tapping my line, so Agent, can you solve it? You have ten seconds before I hang up. Maybe we should meet someplace you and I. You can explain what it is we're not asked. Hello? Hello? That was that face to face Senator. Philip, when you filed those fingerprints on your suspect, it went wide. The Bureau, uh, Homeland, CIA. Flag went up in Langley. But this was my case four years ago, and it will remain my case. Your suspect is at the center of an ongoing international investigation led by the Russian government. The case has been kicked three floors above both our heads. You're a sitting member of the Senate Intelligence Committee, a former FBI agent. I'm not CIA. I've just been informed that the suspect known to us as Tomas Kozlov is wanted by the CIA and the Russian government. The CIA is now handling the case. 
And they just expect you to hand it over? Yes. Yes, this is a different angle, same hallway. We should see him. Look at on. that. The light here would register an image. There is no face. Nope. What is it? I think you're going to want to see this. It's so hard to believe that they would have their own stripe of the inconceivable. Billy and I were always amazed at their advancements. Even 40 years ago, you wouldn't believe what those pinkos were up to. This just came in from D.C. Senator Van Horn's office. He sent you the file, hasn't he? <laughs> yep. Officially, the Russian space agency states he died in space. He didn't. Well, why would they say it's his brother? What happened to him up there? According to these documents, they still don't understand. It's not the radiation that's killing him. Quite the opposite. It's the radiation that the entity is after. This thing passes through victims to absorb radiation? Because it's from space. All five of the victims were undergoing radiation treatment at the time of their deaths. Um. Except for the penthouse guy, he died of bad luck. Thomas, what are you doing here? It's not your shift. I wish he hadn't seen me here. Oh, crap. He doesn't seem... He seems remorseful. Are they accounted for? Yes! He swapped her for his brother. Ah, oh, she's not dead. The mind of a genius at work. Hey! Hey! It's possible that while in outer space, the cosmonaut took the spacewalk and brought something back with him. And That's what I said. Capable of projecting itself without ever really leaving its host. We can leave a voicemail message for him and hope that at some point he retrieves it. Can we tell him that we can solve the formula? Yes. I can dominate her, Agent Broyles. You have one new So it's inside his brother. And it can project. That's cool. This is Special Agent Broyles from the FBI. I'm the agent you spoke with four years ago. I have information about the formula for you. So this is how he's learned to try and contain it. Uh oh. We're gonna kill him. Oh shit. Now, is it a symbiotic relationship? Does it need him to survive so it won't let him die? I just wanted to make the world a safer place. I became obsessed with this case. And for my wife, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Oh. It ended our marriage. They always get the one case. To make the world a safer place for my family. Instead, I lost them. I thought you might have. In your message, you said you had new information about the formula. That's right. Have you solved it this time? I know, like last time, you're tapping the line, you need 60 seconds. I'm giving you 10 before I hang up. Don't make the same mistake again. I believe the Russians have tried to remove the organism from the cosmonaut. They couldn't. It's not possible. The two have become one. Shit. Bonded at a molecular level. They can't be separated. I don't want him harm. Just ten more seconds. Tell me where you are, Timor. But you've got to tell me where you are, Timor. You can trust us. Oh no! <sighs> Shit, you haven't contained it at all. I've got him. His line's still open. I may have <laughs> Come on! Not a little girl. Walter? This equipment, it's in Russian. Move. Stand back. Oh, 
I close that case. That finished you. The one four years ago. I'm happy for you. Do you want to come in? Have some dinner with us? No. I, uh, I'll let you get back to your dinner. Agent Broyles. You've got a real friend in Senator Van Horn. When the CIA says cease and desist, we kind of mean it. I guess I should thank Senator Van Horn, then. Understatement. What did you guys do with him? The cosmonaut? We had no choice. Once he started breathing again. He's not dead. Oh, no way. Okay, that may have only literally just been a case of the week because I wasn't even really a bad guy. But that was a brilliant episode. I'll say it now before I get. I'll touch on, I'll start at the end. That very last scene with Broyles there after he spoke to his ex-wife of a car pulling up on a suburban street in America at night, late, dark secluded guy in a suit who is from an intelligence agency happens to be the CIA in this case and giving instruction and warning as to what you have been investigating or whatever you've opened up that you shouldn't have done was X-Files all over it all over it that was spectacular i also like that we got a little bit of background from Burles there. that's the first time he's really opened up to any to any of the team in particular um olivia so this case consumed him four years ago which is why all the case files because of what it was he didn't keep any reports it was all in that lockup that it showed earlier in the episode when he was telling us about the case initially. I wondered why it was all in there. I'm like, why is it why is he kept this from the FBI? I think on two fronts, because of the nature of what it was and the fact that it ended his marriage. Poor guy. But that was a brilliant episode. So they've had to send the cosmonaut back into space because that thing won't let him die. It's got a symbiotic relationship with him now and it can't be separated, so he's back up there. So what the fuck's in space? <laughs> so they won't be doing any more missions into space anytime soon, will they? Damn. That was really good. I loved the scene with the soprano um, playing. And Walter's mind just at work, looking at the different chalkboards and making notes and you're like that is how a genius you can see that's how a genius his mind works that is them at work totally focused world melts away what a really really good episode we didn't get any progression of main storyline in that but it doesn't matter because it was such a good episode it was an x-files episode again i think now and again in fringe the writers are giving us that vibe that feel of the old uh x designation as they mentioned a few episodes ago and the, the x designation has now become fringe brilliant loved it i can't wait for the next one right that was what was that one that was episode six we will be back for episode seven later in the week guys this is the first of the two that we do for the week so don't forget to hit that subscribe turn your notifications on and while you're at it jump over on twitter and hit me on there as well and I will be back with the next one fairly soon. Until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next one.